Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the North Shore Synagogue. My name is Rabbi Lewin, Paul Lewin. I'm the senior rabbi of, of our synagogue, uh, a role that I've, fulfilled, I've had for the last 15 years. I have a very close relationship with Pastor Paul Jung, and, to, and together uh, we work with the, uh, the Israel Institute, which, uh, which is to further the relationship between the Jewish community and the Korean community. Earlier this year, I was honored as a guest to be in Jerusalem with the, Korea, the Korean Friends of Israel celebrating the 70th year of the anniversary of the establishment of the Jewish state. It was a wonderful evening and a, wonder, and a wonderful expression of solidarity and love. This evening, we once again gather. I would like to open with the words of the psalmists how wonderful it is for brothers to sit together. Indeed, this has been a, a journey of two faith communities work, uh, working together to learn about, each other, learn about each other, whether it has been me lecturing with, uh, with, uh, with Pastor Paul. And I should just note that every time I give a lecture, he always translates beautifully into Korean. I'm not sure what he says. <laughs> I'll sometimes crack a joke, and when everyone laughs, I know he's got it correct. <laughs> the boss approves. <laughs> but one thing that has happened is uh, Pastor Paul has taken those, uh, those lectures, and he's now uh, finishing uh, writing a book about, about our teachings together, which we look forward to uh, publishing in the new year. So thank you, Pastor Paul, for, for our, our shared friendship. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and distinguished guests. Welcome to tonight's Korean Cultural Music Festival. My name is Joshua Jung, and I'll be the presider for this evening. It is with great pleasure that I stand here before the North Shore Synagogue for the second time in three years, the last being September of 2015 for the Bless Israel concert. It's already been three years, and it's a great privilege to be here again this year. I had the great honor uh, of, being, of being invited to the uh, International Legal Conference in Jerusalem earlier this year in February, uh, jointly held by the International Legal Forum and also the Israel government. It was an initiative to learn more about BDS, the boycott, divestment, and sanctions that are being made against Israel. It was truly insightful for myself, who did not know much about the atrocities that are occurring in Israel. I hope that together in diversity we can fight this war together as we share our different cultures and learn more and more about each other in love and in diversity. Tikkun Olam. I hope I got that one right, Rabbi. <laughs> All right, well, we've got a jam-packed performance today, a number of performances, and I'll be introducing them one by one as they come. First up, we've got the King's Angels. Can everyone put their hands together for the King's Angels?
Thank you, girls, for that lovely performance. King's Angels, everyone. They seem to be huffing and puffing while they're walking down, so it was a great performance. Um, now, we've got here Sun Young Kim, who's the first Australian, oh, sorry, first Asian Australian to be with the Opera, uh, Opera Australia. Um, she's here to perform two terrific performances. Please welcome Sun Young Kim.
What a lovely performance. I think I almost just shed a tear there. Um, now we have a more, an upbeat, energetic performance by Che Rin Kim and Che Yoon Kim, formerly known as the Kim Sisters. Please welcome the Kim Sisters.
the Kim sisters, everybody. Another round of applause, please. Okay, next up we've got Mr. Jin Tae Kim. He's a member of the Sydney Opera House. Please welcome Mr. Jin Tae Kim. Oh, yeah. 
Thank you, thank you. I just wanted to quickly explain to you the, the second performance of Mr. Kim's uh, performance tonight. Uh, the, song's, the song name is Longing for Kum Kang Mountain. In Korean, it's Kurium Kum Kang San. This song is about Korea being divided, the north and south. This mountain is located in the north, northern part of Korea. This song was composed because South Koreans long to visit Kum Kang San one day. So please, it's an emotional performance for the Korean community and hopefully one day as South Koreans we can visit that mountain located in the north. Thank you.
Thank you, Mr. Kim, for such a powerful uh, performance there. I think that performance really highlighted how each and every one of us Koreans feel about the situation back at home in North and South, us longing to be unified one day. So thank you, Mr. Kim, for that powerful performance. Uh, to change up the, the mood, we have a dance. Um, it's Angela Bake for Love Sick Flower, the song's called. It's about a woman experiencing a breakup and who is, of course, love sick. Please welcome Angela Bake. <laughs> Thank you, Angela, for that lovely performance. Next up, we have Lena Lee on the violins. Um, the next song, or next performance, I should say, rather, uh, is a song composed by Joachim Raff. It's called Cavatina. Cavatina is a short operatic aria composed in a simple style. Mr. Raff was a Jewish, German, Swiss composer and pianist born in the 19th century. Please welcome Lena.
Thank you, Lena, for that performance. I think there's a reason why she was the first prize winner from the first Young Artist Festival. So put it together for Lena. <laughs> Next up, we have a worship dance performance from Miss Unbi Go. Please welcome Miss Unbi Go. Angela Beck, everyone, what another great performance. 
Okay, now we close the first half of the program. Um, I would like to take this time to introduce our friend Doron Nazareth, who is the CEO of MDA, Magin David Adom. Together with the Israel Institute, as well as with MDA, uh, we have provided this Korean uh, cultural festival today, or concert rather. I would just like to introduce uh, Mr. Doran Nazareth to explain a little bit more about MDA. And just to let everyone, this performance and donations from tonight will be donated to MDA. Please welcome Doron Nazareth. Thank you so much. It's um, an honor to be here tonight, and it's always a privilege um, to represent the wonderful work of Magen David Adom. And as Josh just mentioned, um, Magen David Adom is Israel's emergency medical response, um, ambulance service, and blood bank. Um, we are the Red Cross of Israel, um, saving lives each and every day. And it's a special honor for me to be here tonight, uh, again representing Magen David Adom in such a wonderful demonstration of unity and diversity. Um, and it's so beautiful to see. Um, I really wanted to say thank you to our hosts, um, Pastor Paul and, um, and Rabbi Paul, for inviting me here tonight. And I'm so inspired by the work that they do that I'm actually thinking of changing my name to Paul um, <laughs> so that they may invite me into their group. Um, so I'll work on that, and then I'm hoping to get an invitation. But I'm really, truly inspired by the work that they do um, to bring communities together and to not just talk about diversity and unity, but to actually show it in action. And that is very much what Magen David Adom does. Uh, we are representative, like Israel, um, irrespective of one's background, ethnicity, religion, uh, Magen David Adom and Israel is there for all her citizens, irrespective of their religion, their background, or their eth ethnicity. And that's what we do each and every day, is save lives. And uh, tonight, I wanted to thank you for joining us, and I wanted to thank you through, through your offering um, for not only blessing this unity of community, but for blessing Magen David Adom and for blessing Israel. Um, I hope that... Um, you continue to enjoy this evening of these most wonderful and talented performers. And again, thank you so much for having us and uh, for being part of this uh, special event. So thank you. <laughs> 